All right, guys, so the years I've had my tool trailer, a couple things have been very apparent. And yes, I call it a tool trailer, but we're gonna get into this video and why the tool trailer is most valuable, not the tools that it carries, but something else. Let's get into it. So, it's been very apparent lately for me that the true value of my trailer is not the tools that it carries. Don't get me wrong. I bought it because I needed to get my tools on site and it does that great. It's that's exactly it's great. But, you know, anybody who can, you know, you need to get their tools on site, you can use a car, truck, whatever. And this video is kind of important. It pertains to vans as well. I think it falls in the line with, you know, enclosed, you know, enclosed vehicle trailer kind of thing but the, there's a couple things that i absolutely just man i cannot live without and i've been going back and forth you know hey the money you know if i'm buying a new trailer um should i just buy a van etc etc this is absolutely the main these are the main things that i just i can't get my head my head around not having a tool trailer in my business in my line of work so obviously if you're you know you guys if you're if you're a general contractor and you actually don't do any of the work it's not really pertains to you and if you're only a certain type of contractor if you only do like one trade you can definitely get by with um a lot less for sure but so a couple ones number one being shelter dry tools and just an area to rest on the job site that's this is not in any kind of order it's not like the most but just being able, like even today, I was working doing a punch list, which we'll get into in a second. But I was doing a punch list at a customer's house, and it started raining. Literally, folded up my ramp, and didn't have to do anything. You know, that's everything else is dry. Didn't have to cover anything up with tarps or anything like that. Dry tools, they're fantastic. Obviously, we're in the summertime right now, so everything's warm, but very nice. It's it's just it's just nice. And then also, it's it's an area where I can just close the doors and rest if I need to. I can sit down. You know, eat my lunch in peace. I don't have cu I don't have customers or anything like that bothering me. Um, you get privacy if you need it. You know, everybody's need if I need to go use the restroom, then hey, uh, I got privacy. I can close the doors. I can pee in a bottle or I can pee in a bucket and dispose of it as I need to. All that kind of stuff. You know, that's another great thing. I, it's 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 there. That's you may not like it, but that's you know we got to go. We got to go. So I will say. If you're in a tra if you're if you have an enclosed trailer, a side door is an absolute 150% must. I know there's a couple videos out there where people are like, you don't need a side door if you got the ramp in the back. Man, let me tell you, like I don't know if there's anybody that I've actually met in person who doesn't use a side door if they have a ramp, obviously. But no, like you you will use the side door and it's it's so convenient and so nice especially if you're pulling up to a job site parking on the street side going the correct way you don't need to drop that ramp down every time you got a side door it's it's great easy efficient access efficient so <clears throat> i use and abuse not abuse but i use my trailer i think i've i've dragged that thing behind my trucks in the past trucks i we have like at least over 130,000 miles in this trailer so this is not by any means you guys will see in this video like I use this this is not a pretty like Instagram famous kind of tool trailer this is just I use it every day multiple days you know I mean honestly six seven days a week I'm in that trailer uh, doing something so uh, and again I'm getting my money's worth out of it for sure <sighs> going in I will be buying a new trailer so going in going forward we have it's gonna be bigger it's gonna be taller it's gonna be better in almost every way including actually it is better in every way um very very there's a bunch of things so i'm gonna be doing to it um there's gonna be so many upgrades but a trailer's a must absolutely a must um now i'll go into what i absolutely love about a trailer besides everything else I just listed was or is inventory. I've gotten I'll, I'll list a couple I'll link a couple inventory videos that I've had Absolutely, it it's one of the best things and this is one of the reasons I made this video is having the inventory for punch list work Like I just got done. I needed a two by four man. I had it on hand I didn't have to go to anywhere. Oh, like, you know, like a four dollar two by four like it was so nice It was just like oh, like I just it just saved it just saved me hour at least an hour of my day so 
having inventory is huge. And I will say going with that is you charge for your inventory. I make between 100% to 2000% markup on anything coming off the trailer. Why? Because of convenience factor. I, I rolled into my jobs. Now the 2000% markup, that's for small stuff. I'm not buying something for 20 bucks and marking it up 2000%. It's more like screws, nails, clips, washers you know like stuff like you know the cost is pretty small but if you mark it up you know if you you know you charge five or ten bucks you, if you look at and do the math that small little piece apart that's two thousand percent like it's you, nobody's gonna go to a store to save three dollars and if they are then they shouldn't be your customer in the first first place so money making machine tool trailers are and this goes for um vans too if you have inventory in your van you got enclosures same thing if you have a van you know you love it because especially one you can stand up in for sure um you know my trailer is 16 foot with the v nose including it's my 18 feet i can haul 16 foot materials that's great that's the reason why i got a 16 foot trailer in the first place i can hold bulk materials i do charge for it and also it's super convenient i can just be like all right yeah i don't need to cut anything up or i don't need to pay for shipping or shipping uh delivery and more importantly i don't have to wait for delivery so that's just oh i absolutely love it so <sighs> well I mean, i'll go in the last one and last one is if i'm busy i'm working and it's like late like friday and we're getting everything done wrapping up i can literally just chuck everything in the trailer and close the door and be done for the weekend it's just relax and i'll be, of course i'll come back to it and revisit it and sort everything out and organize everything because not only is my hobby i enjoy being efficient and i enjoy being organized but i, I don't need to at the time if i want to just get home you know crack a beer get home see the family and just not worry you know just decompress and not worry about the job on hand for a day or so i can just chuck everything in there close the door park the trailer and we're done so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if you're on the fence about a trailer or a van uh there's a bunch of videos out there for it but man having enclosed space is awesome as a contractor